This meeting is being recorded. Hello. Hello. Yeah. 3.4. Oh, no, right uh -huh. Thirty B. Ah, yung sa exponential na tiga. Hindi ko lang yun. H one forty. Ah, four G three. One forty. One twenty eight. Hmm, plus ten. Four G three, no. Yeah. So. Why? Why do ano po? Why do ar? Why do ar? Why do archaeologists ano discount the views? Because if the the specimen died five hundred years ago, why do they just mm -hmm. why do they just put in their results? Approximately five hundred years. In although they can they can full well put na it is exactly five hundred thirty one years since it died. Hmm. Why do an yung mga anthropologists talagang they date to the exact date while yung mga lasip mo nagana po ng plants ayaw sila. Actually, yung ano niya na hindi ako sh. Ne, paano ba ne? Paano ba yung Di ba ang carbon dating kasi, you're looking at the ratio of yung radioactive carbon versus yung decay products. Bubble. Tapos may assumption about how much, kung ano yung proportions kapag buhay pa. Kasi kapag buhay pa, yung may, may exchange kasi. So may equilibrium value siya. So four G
Ah, uh, ganito. I pwedeng ano lang, intermediate step kasi na isulat mo lang yung paano mo kinumpute yung 0.29824. Sige. Ang tanong ay sa so part tiga, part 3 wait wait may part 2 find the value of k pwede pa tingin sorry balik tayo find the value of k okay yung last ay how old is the fossil How do they, how do they, ano po, the ARN fossils just calcified? How do they find, how do they even find the carbon in? Hindi, ang known dito ay, may ano kasi, ang, di ba, hindi, ano ba yung reaction sa ano, yung carbon, may carbon 14 decay. May ano yun eh, may reaction yun eh. Ang tinitingnan nila, hindi lang yung carbon 14. Meeting na lang decay products. So, uh, ano yung decay? Teka, check ko lang yan. No? Yung carbon 14. Pero nitrogen po yung products eh. So, mag-evaporate lang sort of. Okay, nandun. Baka nandun sa rock mismo. Pero most of it is escape. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Half life carbon fourteen decays into nitrogen fourteen. Yeah, tignan ko kung ano yung possible way na ano. Hindi siya. Tayo yung muna yan. Pero kung decay pa lang na yun, okay, you can't. Hindi na yun kumitin yon. So malamang may mga assumptions about yung mass. Ano kasi, ang known, may idea tayo ng relative frequency ng carbon versus carbon-14 in living specimens. Okay. So, pag tingnan mo yung, so, pwedeng ang, pwede, siguro, pwede mo tingnan, ano yung, car, ano yung carbon-14 at saka yung, yung ordinary na non-radioactive na carbon na, carbon na naiwan. So, pag kinumpare mo yung ratio ng dalawa, may estimate ka how much was lost. Mm. Pero how do you find the carbon na iwan po? If it's basically calcified? Bubo, eh, pa-pulverize? Sayang naman yung fossil. Ano ba, ano, ano ba yung... For example, kung bone yan, ano ba yung composition ng bone? Calcium... Carbonate? Well, basically, carbonate. Yung... Carbon siya. Tapos, kaya mo i-weigh yun, di ba? Tabo. So, kung alam mo yung yung weight ng bones, tapos alam, meron kang assumptions about ano yung yung composition. Hmm. 
And then siguro yung picture yung radio yung ano yung radio activity ng sample para malaman mo kung ano yung how much carbon 14 is left. Yun, baka baka yung radio activity na lang po kasi may parang pulverize yun. Tsaka o oh, kaya sobra daming assumption na ito yung exact na ratio. Mm. Baka siguro inaano po yun sa something basta may equipment So, 10,400 years. Okay. Ngayon, paano pag ito yung question? Uh, given yung half, let t, t sub 1 half be the half life. So, yeah. Sulat ko na lang. So, share yung screen ko. Para... Yeah, para masulat ko yung tapos pa screenshot na lang yung point nung isusulat ko. Kasi ang kailangan natin okay. let uh, let the amount be equal to a sub 0 e to the minus kt. So yung a sub 0, yan yung initial amount. Kinetics. Tapos yung k, yan yung decay constant. So, ang, ang ano niyan, so, and then, ang T, one half, yan yung half-life. So, yung half-life, yan yung amount of time that passes para yung sample mga lahat eh. Amount of time for sample to um, become half of original of original amount. Oh, na? Oh, na? Oh, sige. So, patingin ng solution mo dito. So, given ito, what's the, paano ko kinukuha yung T1 half in terms of K? So, stop sharing muna. Yes, 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 and then to overcame it. I will now prove how to, I will now find it again. Okay, so. So when t is equal to one half, p one half. Or is it, or is it negative, and then to overcame? Was that L, may L and to overcame point? Right? Okay, so kapag kalahate, 
Uh, Kasi definition yan eh, di ba? So, when substitute T one half, anong mangyayari sa left hand side? Uh, teka, T one half. Kasi yan yung time na mga kalahati yan eh. Yeah. Which is the half life. Kaya, yeah. kung ganyan yan, ang, const, ang decay constant, positive, di ba? So, ang half-life mo magiging negative. Ah, kasi pa Isa-isahin mo. Or isa-isahin mo yung, yung step. So, ganito malon. So, LN both sides. ln of 1 half wait it's bakit ln of 2 ln of 1 half yung left hand side ah. diba ah negative ln 2 okay so negative ln 2 ln 2 ah so I was correct ln 2 lang only ln there. And then okay. Ngayon, balik tayo dun sa, ano, sa exponential problem dun sa uh, chapter 13. Ah, there's still two unused pages. Nasa 13 D 11 yun, no? Yeah, 13 D Ano ba nabas yan? Ah, sige. Linker pa pala yun. So, 13 D 11. So, tingnan na natin. Later. Square root of 3 times 0.3 Bakit? Uh, but yung uh, Teka, pag sinubstitute mo yung square root of 3 yung x equals pi over 3 cosine of pi over 3 minus pi over 6 that's going to be positive. Tapos yung sine of pi over 3 minus pi over 6 positive din ulit. So dapat negative yan. I forgot the little negative sign in the negative in the sign. Okay, kasi tapos ang anong so ang, kung ano, kung halimbawa yung x at saka y yung yung dx dt at saka dy dt components ng velocity. Then, yung, ano, yung negative na, uh, yung negative rate of change is, which means, yung y is a decreasing function. One, at x equal to pi over 3. Okay. Ngayon, yung book, kinonvert siya into decimals with three decimal places. Pero ano naman po siya, uh, this is, ah, wait. Uh, Pero yun din naman yun eh. So, siguro sulat mo lang yung decimals. Okay. Yung next, yung number 12. So, 6. 3 cosine x. Teka, teka. 3 tangent. Ah, sorry. Bata yung, bata yung mamatch. Mm, see? 6 secant squared 3x plus pi over 8. So, 
when x is equal to pi over 24. Bakit yun? Bakit po unit sa kanya? Hindi radians. Saan? Yung... Exactly. Bakit three, negative 3 units per second? Not negative 3 radians per second. Ganito. Yung, for example, what if x is uh, is, a, a, is a length? X and Y. Pwedeng, pwedeng mangyari yan eh kasi yung ganito. So yung ano yung, ang, mag, ang mag-determine kasi dito yung, yung units ng X at saka Y. Hindi yung radians. Hindi. Sige. I think mas maganda i, yung ganito. Kaya ito na tayo sa ko lang, share ko lang yung screen ko. Sandali. So, bakit unit per second yan? Imagine po the, the immense philosophical argument to argue po na it must be units per second. So, I get deducted. Okay. No, for example, ganito. If, I'm going to give an example. Yung x is equal to 5 cosine of t and y is equal to 5 sine of t. So, ang units ng, yung gusto nating units nito. So, ang x, is yung, well, this describes motion on a plane. Tapos, uh, tiga, sketch ko yung ano, gawin ko ng coordinate axis. Halimbawa ito, ito yung x, ito yung y. Ah, sorry, ito yung, y, ito yung x, ito yung y. And and then um, going on a circle. Hmm. Looks circle enough. Okay. And then let's move this. Para magkasya. So, may circle tayo of radius. Hindi. Tingnan mo yung ano, yung x. Isulat natin yung x and y. Di ba x is equal to... Okay. Ang tagundang natin to. Tapos. So, isipin mo na yung x equals... Pag in-square natin yan yung x square at saka yung y square. Anong ang mo nating equation? Uh, the circle. Five yung, square. Uh, something we lang. Five cos uh so ah yes, uh, only one. So, yung equation na to describes can describe the position of a particle on a circle of radius 5 centered at the origin. Kasi at different t, for example, if t is equal to 0, nandito yung object. When t is equal to pi over 2 seconds, nandito yung object. When t is uh, pi seconds, nandito naman yung object and so on. So, we describe nito yung motion of a circle, of a, of a particle on a circle of radius 5. Ngayon, ano ba units ng x? Kung ang coordinate system natin, ang units ay meter, then, gumagiging units ng, ng dx dt meter per second. Ngayon, since hindi meters yung binigay, since sa book, kapag hindi specify yung units ng length ay tinatawag lang nila na units. Kaya tuloy yung dx dt at saka dy dt, units per second. Pero yung dx, per, dx over dt po is in radians. Per Pika. second. Ano yan eh? 
yung radians per second, yung, technically yung radians is a dimensionless unit. So what does he mean for Kasi, when x is decreasing in radians per second? If radians is... Yun, like, I mean, gaya ito. Let's say, binigyan ka ng circle. Okay, this is... Sige. Dahil tinatamad ako mag-drawing ng ayos. Radius 10. Tapos sinabi sa'yo na yung yung arc length... Et, ano yung length ng arc? Ah, okay, okay. Uh, yung arc po, the arc is also in, is also sort of measured. Not really by length, but in sort of measured in regions din. Ah, so the... Hindi, hindi, yeah. hindi, hindi siya measured in regions. It's, it's, it's measured in length. Uh, so, dapat ito. Tapos ito, meter din. Halimbawa, so 10 meters times theta, dapat yung result, meter din. Even though yung theta, invasion units. So, maybe dapat po sabihin angle of x is decreasing radius per second. Sorry, ano ulit? The angle, the central angle of X is decreasing in radius per second. Mm, okay, balik tayo dun sa question. Sige, stop ko muna itong share. Tapos patingin nung tingnan natin question ulit. Kasi sinabi po directly eh. X itself is decreasing. Ayan, X is decreasing. Okay, given that X is decreasing at the rate of region per second. Oh, dito, sorry, dito, yung x angle hindi siya in meters so why why is y in the po in meters or sort of in uh, units hindi kaya, kaya hindi specify kung ano kaya unit per second eh kasi hindi na hindi binigay kung anong klase units yung dala ng y ah, pag ambiguous po units hindi hindi siya oh. Pero yung pag gano'n naman, later, magiging klaro yung context. Ano ba talaga yung unit nung ano? Kasi, mm, yeah, the problem was specify kung ano yung magiging units nung, kung ano yung magiging units nung kasi. Dito, since hindi stated, the only thing we can say is y units per second. No! Teka, tingnan natin yung ano. Tingnan natin yung... Basahin ko lang yung sagot. So, negative 3 radians per, per second ito. Ah, sorry. So, the XCP is 0.25. Okay, so talagang... So, maging units per second. Kasi, hindi yung specify any units eh. Okay na? Okay. Okay, pwede tayo dun sa, ano, sa number 13 naman. So, a derivative i 3 cosine x minus 6 cosine cube. That was in turning points. Uh, cosines. Okay, so cosine of x is 0, and cosine squared of x is equal to 1 half. Once again. So, yung cases. Uh, when x is equal to pi over 2, yung second derivative negative, so minimum. So parang ganito pa yung graph? Ay, parang, basta parang sinusoidal, sort of. Now, and, 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 sige, tingnan, tingnan mo yung experiment, tingnan natin yung graph sa Desmos. Or maybe it's not sinusoidal, but sort of like uh, dampened. 
I think ang magiging itsura niyan parang heartbeat. Ayun nga po. Parang, hindi siya ah, parang rhythmic na yung parang ano nga po parang yung sa series na. Ah, wait lang. Nasaan daw? So, hindi siya sinusoid kasi dapat acute. Ah, wala na sign of X tapos noon gawin mo na pa, una parenthesis cube. Maybe that not allow that uh, notation. Oo. There. Ah, yes, it looks a little, it looks, uh, yes, it's a, uh, the, the parang compound wave po, sort of, I don't know how to call hmm. it. Yeah, it's a wave, pero hindi na siya sine wave. Okay, so let's go to the next item. Ah, yun, may parang minimum, maximum, minimum, yes, okay. Okay, so the curve has no stationary point. So on derivative i, okay. So naga so kumis if ah okay so the contradiction ka so if y stationary kanyan. Ang ginawa ko naman ginraf uh, gumawa ng table of signs for the derivative. Tapos lalabas na wala siyang na hindi pwede. Na hindi siya mag-zero. O sige. Ne punta tayo sa next. Sa, thir sa, four sa 15. Derivative i 2 e to the minus x cosine of x. Okay, pi over 2. Tapos, second derivative test gives us negative. So, maximum. Okay. Yung 16? 16 is no more. Okay, where, where's the 16? No! What did I do? Anyway. Uh, 1, 2, 6, 5. Um, 5. Negative one point seventeen. Tapos when t equals three and t equals nine. Tapos, negative 54. Okay. Three over three plus one. Three sevenths. And then... dy dx take it out dy dx x becomes I, I think mas magaling isulat mo, isulat mo lang yan dy dx and then arrow goes to zero or isulat mo inward ano yan eh yung limiting argument kasi yan eh so hindi naman lang siya zero but it approaches zero Tapos wag yung do, wala, uh, isang arrow lang instead of yung equal yung kasi yan 
yung symbol na equal tapos may arrowhead that's reserved for implies so just change it to a single uh, arrow yan oh, sige so yung 18 patingin Why, why, why did, why did they have to do this when they could have just put t is equal to 8 ln sine 0.5t over 10 to the negative 12? It's time to die. And then, because like this. And then, is e one as e. Ganyan talaga siya. Kasi, paano kung, ang inaano kasi niyan, paano kung ano, baguhin mo yung function of e? So, isipin mo, yung p is equal to 8 ln of e over 10 to the minus 12. Ah, so, so, That's it, can, it, it still changes. Hmm. Kasi, pangit lang yung, ano yung, pangit yung simple sa'yo. Kasi, pressure at saka power yung ano eh, yung, yung E. Kaya normally small P yung pressure, tapos yung power is capital P. Pero confusing, kaya ginamit na big P at E. Ah, kaya pala po minsan PV equals NRT. Parang maliit po yung P. Oo. Oh, kasi yan yung usual symbol for pressure eh. Mm, kaya pala hindi pa din malaki eh. So, it, it, ano siya, more, it's mostly convention. Gusto ng mga tao, yung typically, yung pressure, small p. Okay, pero ito, kasi yung what dito, meron kang power, which is E, na sinusoidal. Kasi may mga ano eh, kung halimbawa, yung sound source mo, hindi sinusoidal, which is what we, which, which is what we often, which is what we really get. Eh di, mas complicated function yung E. Tapos, y the other reason bakit ganyan, kasi pag nag-chain rule ka, di, di ba kailangan mag-chain rule dito? DPDE, and then calculate that, and then separately calculate DPD, uh, DE, DEDT. No more. So it's, for some people, that's less messy. No more. Like ito, ano ba yung energy when T is equal to pi over T? Ah, sorry. What, ano yung power? What's E when T is equal to pi over 2? Tingnan mo. What? No! I didn't realize that. Okay. So... Yeah. This meeting is being recorded. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Yeah. I will simplify this. Goodbye.
I still end up, I still end up with the same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can, I cannot, I will just run this over time just because the, why does the why does the calculator have on a cosine? I co co cosecant secant and on a cotangent. Tega. Uh. So, ano ang tangent of uh, 0.5 times pi over 4? Oh, wait. 0.5 times pi over 2 is pi over 4. So, uh, pi, pi over 2. Plus so, 1. so, therefore, dt over dt is a. Wait, 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 wait. Something, something is wrong. Uh, but, bakit, wait, wait, wait. Uh, 4, four, four ko, tangent yung nandito eh. Teka, kumpleto ba yung chain rule mo? Yun yung tanong. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ano ko sign? Yung DPDT, tingnan mo. May kulang. DPDT, ah, wait. Yung sa upper left. Ah, uh, times... Oh, times... So, 1 over sign of 0.5 times... Four watts. Uh, and, tega. So, uh, sound pressure of a given. Okay, check ko lang yun, ano? The sound pressure P. Okay. Mm, is the sound power. Hmm. In what? Okay. Eh, tika. Okay. I think ano, yung sa totoo, hindi dapat watts yan eh. May, I think may era, may, kaya check lang natin yung pia. Kasi pressure yan eh. So, dapat ang unit, kaya uh, check lang natin no? Yung pressure in, ano po? Pressure in what? Atmospheres? Hindi. Uh, pressure is Newton per meter, per square meter. Pascals? Teka. So, Pascals. So, dapat lalabas yan Pascals kung tama yung units. Mm. Pero, what's, wait a what's and then the L, what's the L of what? Hindi nagwa match yung units eh. Kasi, I think for the, kaya, check ko lang yun, oh. check ko yung key. Kasi kung mali yung key, wala talaga. So, 18. I mean, actually po, uh, 0.5 seconds, wait, wait, wait. So, cotangent of, sec tangent of seconds is still seconds, I think. And again, ito. Ano yung, yung watt ay um, kilogram meter square per second cube? Sige. Ande, sige. Gawin ko na yung, pakita ko lang yung, yung dimensions. Ano na po? What's in newtons? I mean, what's in newton again? A kilogram per meter. Okay, wait, kilogram, kilogram meter per second square. So yung... Kari units. So, ang watt ay kilogram meter per um, 
sorry, kilogram meter square kasi energy siya over second cube. Dapat kasi, ano yan eh, joule per second. So, kaya yan. Ang newton, okay, so kilogram meter per second square. So, kapag divide by meter square, pressure is in newton over meter square. So, this should be so this should be watts per meter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, watts per... And, and, I think mas maganda, lagay mo lang dyan units. I think mali yung book lang. Mali lang yung book dito. Na, on the unit side. Mm, mm, baka, sigur, baka siguro po na ayos nung bago. Yung new edition. Hmm. Hindi ko pa yan siya check yung new edition dito eh. Okay. Pero yan. Yeah. Kasi hindi dimensionally consistent yung units pag watt per second. Eh. So, that can't be pressure per second. What is watts per okay. second? What is kilogram? What is newton per second? Is it, that, is it even power? Hindi. Power has to be kilogram meter square per second cube. Kasi yung energy is kilogram meter square per second square. Divide... In ganito, yung, sige, sige. Sulat ko lang yan, ah, yung sum of the relationships. So, share ko yung screen. Mapipreview, para mapreview lang natin ano yung lalabas sa physics. Okay. So, kaya, share ko lang yung screen ko. Kasi, will it even, kaya, be, will it even be power per second po? Hindi, ganito. Check natin yun, ano. Ah. Yung force is mass times acceleration. But, so, ito, in one dimension lang, ah. So, motion in so motion on a line lang to. Para makita mo yung units. Okay. So, that means x versus t lang yung, yung motion natin. So, ang acceleration is actually the second derivative of position. Yung velocity, that's just in one, in, uh, pag motion on a straight line, that's just the, the derivative. Yung ano ba, is, the, is there sort of a, parang, parang pag jerkiness or something, pag uh, the third derivative? Um, hindi, may ano, may, may tawag sa, there's a name for yung yung derivative of acceleration, which is the jerk. Pero hindi siya usually ginagamit sa physics eh. Mm. O medyo non-standard siya. Okay. Ngayon, so ito yung acceleration, ito yung velocity. Yung power naman is actually going to be the rate at which, ganito, ang energy, ang kinetic energy is one half mv square. So, ang power is actually the rate of change of pwedeng, it could be the rate of change of the kinetic energy. So, ito yung power supplied to a particle. So, pag ganyan naman yung units, so this is the rate at which kinetic energy increases. That's the power kapag motion in one line. Ngayon, if we take the derivative, 1 half m, 2v, dv, d, dv dt, or 1 half m, so m, ang velocity is dx dt, dv dt, that's just acceleration. So pag tingin mo units ng power, kilogram that's meter going to be kilogram, meter per second, meter per second meter per second square uh, or over second cube. Ganun siya magana eh. So pag nag-analyze sa yung dimension, so ano, ano yung units ng force? Kilogram times acceleration, which is ito, yung momentum. O sige, isa pa. Momentum, unfortunately, may same, same symbol. So, lagyan ko lang ng piece of x. So, this momentum. That's mv. 
in one dimension or MDXDT. So ang unit sa tom, uh, kilogram, tapos yung, yung velocity is meter per second. Yung energy, tinan mo, ano yung units niyan? That's kilogram, meter square, over second square. So, sinasubstitute lang natin yung units ng bawat isa. So, dapat po kung kung tama dapat yung units niya. Okay. Ano yung pressure? Pressure is force over area. Yan yung, yan yung ano niya. Over. So, so, That's going to be over. kilogram meter per second square divided by meter square. So, ang pressure is kilogram over meter per se meter second square. So, this is a Pascal. Tapos, yung anyway, ganun yung ano yan. So, yung, yung units sinasama sa substitution. Tapos, titingnan mo kung ano yung magiging result kapag nag-multiply out ka. Okay. Kaya ano yun eh. Kaya may, kaya, kaya may problema yung watt per second kasi mali yung units for pressure per second. Okay. Anyway, sige. We'll tanggaling, balik ako dun, balik tayo sa, prob, sa next problem. Yeah, uh, yun din yun eh. Yun din yung advantage ng unahin mo yung calculus before physics. Kasi kapag alam mo yung, yung derivatives and integrals, kaya mo nang i-work out yan eh. Yung definite, ang magiging ano yung sanayin na sa definitions eh. Okay, let's go to number 19. Well, hindi. Sorry. Kaya, hindi siya mas madali. Uh, sorry, mas manageable. Kasi hindi mo pinoproblema yung interpretation ng derivatives and integrals. Kasi hindi pa rin madali. Kasi part of the knowledge is yung problems din eh. Mahaba itong section na ito, no? Okay, bakit legit na i-cancel yan? Kasi e, e to anything is always positive. Okay. Ito. Okay, so 1, negative 1, half. Ano siya pag ano? Actually, ano yan eh. Kapag gagawin, gagawin mo siya, sorry, balik, uh, before you go, alam ko naman kung anong ginawa mo. Pero remember, you are writing for other people. So, paano mo yung, paano mo yung, ano yan? Uh, 
and then Okay, I mean, two x squared, diba? So, yung coefficient ng x squared is positive. So, yung parabola, it opens. Upwards. Upwards. Yes. Parang normal. Basta, ano ba, parang normal parabola. Ah, uh -huh. tapos, yung zeros. Hmm, decreasing nga ito. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Sige. So let's go to... Tapos sa write-up mo, ang pwede mong gawin dito, i-rearrange mo lang na. Mauna yan. So after yung... And then yung... So mauna yan sa conclusion. Yung conclusion kasi one half is... X is between one half and one eh. So when you rewrite it, naka... In sequence. Okay, so punta tayo sa number 20 naman. Tapos, lagyan mo lang, when t is equal to? Ah, yes. When t is equal to 'di ba pa ding negative kasi hindi sila. Tingnan. Tingnan is uh, di mo may sign yan. Pero ano po eh, what the at rate at the, the rate at di ko po alam kung if it means na the rate at which the mass is changing lang and then implying na the mass is decreasing or rate at which mass is decreasing talaga. <laughs> So, balik na din sa sign. Gamitin mo yung ano, yung, D, yung DMDT. So, may sign talaga siya. Mm. 
yan. So, pag sinod mo yan, okay na yan. Okay. So, yung mission mo siguro, yung kasunod na gagawin mo ay kasi 6.05. So, 21 hanggang end ng section D. And then, yung challenge yourself lang. Ano yun eh? Kapag natapos mo na yung mga yun, magsimula ka na sa chapter 14. Which is antiderivatives. Chapter 14 is about if a... Uh, uh, or antiderivatives. Yung you're given a derivative, a new function na kailangan mong i-differentiate para makukuha mo yung derivative na ganyan. That's actually what in, indefinite integrals are. They're also known as antiderivatives. Okay? So we'll end here for today. I'll see you again sa this coming Thursday. Okay. So see you on Thursday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.